this is the guitar that I just finished building. It's the first guitar I've ever built. Um, thank you for watching that guy doing stuff. Thank you for staying with me over the summer as I've been building this thing. Um, I am going to start my next guitar here real soon. And my next guitar I'm making the full instructional series for. So um, that's what I've been looking forward to is making the instructional videos. Now that I've officially built a guitar, um, I can say I know how to do it and I can make some some instructional videos with some type of authority. It is my first guitar and it's definitely not perfect, but um, it makes sound and it plays and it's actually way better than I really thought it was going to end up being. Um, I'm going to kind of describe everything I used and how I built it right now and then I'll play it for you guys a little bit. So the soundboard is spruce. The back and the sides are Indian rosewood. I'll try to get some of the glare on there. I did a matte finish on it, a true oil rub on finish, and then I um, put some wax over the true oil. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, the neck is mahogany. The fretboard is ebony. Um, the peg head, there's, uh, there's a little maple veneer in here. And then this is also East Indian Rosewood, same thing as on the back and the sides. I did a little wedge thing here with some maple lines on it. Um, let's see, the binding is all maple. For the purfling and the rosette, I used a black, white, black. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but a little um, wood fiber stripping. Same thing with the rosette, I inlaid three of those black white black strips and then I also inlaid um, a bent piece of maple here in the middle. Um, the bridge is East Indian Rosewood also. There's a sound hole here with a maple backing to reinforce it. So I finished it a couple weeks ago um, and I did everything but the nut and the saddle here. Um, that was kind of the last step for me, and I figured, I mean, I built the guitar, but for the nut in the saddle, I took it to Steve Spaulding, who owns a guitar shop in Ashland, Oregon. I figured I might as well let him do it. Um, I, I might do the next one, but um, it's a total different skill set to set everything up, and it's so precise. I'd rather have somebody that knows what he's doing do that, because... Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it sounds, really happy with how it turned out. It was re it was easier than I thought it would be, just all in all. I mean, there was a lot of learning. It took a long time, but um, it's doable. I'm just a guy doing stuff in his garage, and I built a guitar. So I, I really do feel really good about it. So the biggest mistakes I made are there are a couple spots with the purfling and a couple spots of the rosette um, where it's... I didn't get it glued down perfectly tight, so there's a little bit of a gapping. I'm not too concerned about that. It's mostly cosmetic, and you really have to look to tell. Other than that, it's not a flawless finish. Um, I'll see if I can shine some light near the bridge. Put the bridge on before I did the finish, and the finish surrounding the bridge isn't very good. I don't really care that much, because it is a handmade guitar, so I wasn't trying to get a perfect finish, but... Um, I do really like the the way the finish turned out, and um, yeah, overall again, pretty happy with it. But sounds like a guitar. Thank you guys for hanging with me over the summer as I've been working on this guitar. I am gonna post the instructional series for the second guitar here as soon as possible. Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions you have about any of this um, in the comment section for this video too.